Hi, my name's Jason Roberts. I'm a director of Tech21. Uh, I'm looking for a £150,000 investment with a release of 5% of equity. The mobile technology market is a rapid growth industry with key products such as uh, mobile phone handsets, uh, handheld game consoles, netbooks. The common factor with these products is that they are um, expensive, they're fragile, and if you drop them, they get damaged. What Tech21 has brought to market is um, a number of uh, protection solutions utilising the latest in design technology and unique fabrics. The uh, first of these is LIPS. Basically how this works is it takes any laptop from a 10 inch up to a 17 inch and if you drop it, the laptop never touches the floor, so it doesn't matter where you drop it, it suspends the laptop. The second product is for the smaller device, such as mobile phones, MP3 players. How this works is D3O, which is a brand new fabric, uh, with an intelligent molecule structure is integrated into the inner core of the products. D3O is quite an expensive fabric because it has some unique properties. It really does resist uh, the impact. All of these products are covered by patents and trademarks. The uh, investment that we're looking for is to establish a three-year global licence with D3O. I hope you found the pitch of interest and I look forward to answering your questions. For a 5% share of his company, Jason Roberts from Twickenham wants the Dragons to invest £150,000 in his products to protect laptops and mobiles. And something has caught the eye of Deborah Meaden. Jason, can I ask, what was the plastic, the orange? This is a, a new fabric. This is in its raw format. This is called D3O. How this works is it's very soft, but upon impact, it goes rock hard and the intelligent molecules lock together to absorb the impact. We've learned how to integrate the D3O fabric into leather nylon cases. We can also integrate it into hard plastic. So not only can we do cases for mobile phones, but we can now do clip-on cases for laptops. So obviously, you know, if you drop it, it absorbs the impact. Jason's product range seems impressive, but what of the man behind the business? Theo Pafitis wants to know. Jason. Hello, I'm Theo. Hi, Theo. Just tell me a bit about yourself. Um, I'm 40 years of age. Uh, I have a wonderful wife and a lovely baby daughter. That's I, fabulous. But what about your working career? Um, I've been involved in the uh, bag industry for around 13 years. However, I wanted to set up my own company as I had uh, a number of unique products that I thought that I could drive forward by myself. OK. £150,000 in exchange for 5% of your business. You must have some incredible trading numbers. This year, uh, we're forecast to do a uh, £1.5 million turnover. That's what we've got in the pipeline. Um, what, did you, what did you do last year, Jason? 650000 and how much profit did you make? Uh, we did a gross profit of uh, 250 um, and a net of 20,000. We actually made a net of 170,000, but I invested 150 into the development of these products. Exciting numbers, perhaps, but still not enough to justify such a high company valuation. Telecoms expert Peter Jones is not about to let Jason off the hook. What is your reasoning or criteria for valuing this at three million pounds? Well, I, I have a number of contracts on the table to produce an in-the-box solution for a five-sided case uh, for two mobile phone uh, manufacturers. And how many is it for? Uh, around about between 100 to 200,000 pieces. Wow. Jason might have grounds to be optimistic about his company's future, but James Kahn wants to focus on its current state. Jason, in the first six months of the year, your performance has been what? Uh, we have turned over uh, around 350,000. And on your management accounts, what profit number would I see? 
I, I, I don't know that off the top of my head. Um, do you do I, monthly I can, management obviously... accounts? Pardon? Do you do monthly management um, accounts? Not, not at the moment, no. So you've um, got a business that you're valuing today at three million pounds, and you don't produce a set of accounts every month. Uh, no, no, I okay. don't. No. Okay. Who's your biggest customer? Um, uh, a computer manufacturer. Okay, and how much have they spent with you? Um, they have spent. Uh, uh, again, I, I don't know off off the top of my head that exact figure. Or, or I mean, that. what I find quite amazing, Jason, is you're very accurate with what you might do in the future but you're very woolly about what you have done um so unfortunately i've not really been that impressed i'm out thank you jason it's not worth three million pound so it's not something that i'm going to get involved in so i'm going to tell you that i'm out thank you very much unable to convince them of his business acumen two dragons have walked away from the deal and Jason's bid for £150,000 looks like slipping away. Jason, tell me, what's the biggest pressure you've got in your business at the moment? Securing the exclusivity with D3O. You need money for that, do you? Yeah, we do. How much do you need? Uh, £100,000. And for your £100,000, what do you get? We get um, exclusivity, uh, three years uh, globally, uh, for the uh, mobile technology market. So, actually, you need £100,000 to make that happen. And we know you haven't got £100,000. That's correct. But I have a deal on the table with uh, a major American computer manufacturer, which equates to around about 37,500 uh, laptop sleeves a month. Sorry? You've got 37,500 laptop sleeves... That's correct. ..an order per month. Um, it's worth a, around about $850,000, but it will actually ramp up from there. You've got the contract here? Yeah, we do have can, it. Here. Can I look at that contract? Certainly. Thank you. The revelation of a potentially long-term and lucrative deal may just have turned around Jason's fortunes, but he's yet to receive an offer. Peter Jones is ready to show his hand. Jason, um, I... I think I'm going to go back to what I to the opening, really, and that is that I think that your valuation is ridiculous. But I think with the right marketing and with the right contacts, which I think is going to be critical in the computer marketplace and the mobile space, I think you could have a position in the market. And as a result of that, I'm going to offer you half the money but because I think I add a lot of value in making this happen and introducing you to people because I've worked in the computer business for a long time in the mobile industry, I'm going to want 20% for half the money that you're asking for. Thank you. It's a bold move from the Dragon investor. Under strict DEN rules, Jason must get an offer of the full amount or he walks away with nothing. Will Theo Pafitis be willing to invest the remaining £75,000? Jason, I've been sitting here admiring the laptop cases, of which I sell yes. many. Yes. Tens of thousands yeah. every year. I hear a very impressive story. I also see a lot of risk, but I do like what you've done. And I like the product. So, I will match Peter's offer, but I too will want 20%. Jason now has a full offer, but for much more of his company than he originally intended. Will Deborah Meaden choose to compete with her rival dragons? I would have made you an offer. Actually, I am going to make you an offer. I'm a dragon. I'd like my piece of the investment. I am going to make you an offer. So I'm going to offer you half the money. But I only want 15% of the business. Because I absolutely understand probably both of these guys better placed immediately to get your product out there 
I would add value in my own different way. So you've got a clear decision to make. If equity is going to be your decision, then I've given you a second way. OK, thank you very much. In a pragmatic move, a wily Deborah Meaden is willing to take less equity than a potential co-investor. Can Jason negotiate down further still? Can I ask you, Peter, if um, you might consider uh, lowering your percentage for half the, half the investment? Um, I, I think, Jason, that in terms of value proposition, with regards to the contacts, I think that I bring a lot to the party. So I would like to stick at my 20% only on the basis that I think it's fair value. Deborah, I would like to say thank you very much for your offer, but I would like to take Theo and Peter up on their offers, if that's OK. Well done, Jason. Well done. We've got a deal. Well done. Well done. How do you feel? That was a grilling. Well done. <laughs> Jason has done it. He's had to give away a huge 40% of his company, but leaves with two well-connected business partners. <laughs>